The first thing, if we wanted to do a proper levering, we go through the tools over here in the screen. We go to preheat, and when you press, you can see the first one is extrusions, which means the hot end. So when I press this again, it becomes heat bed, that means on the bed itself. So if we want a proper levering, we must make sure that the heat bed is on the printing temperature. So you have more accurate of the levering it should be. So we go to the plus and up the temperature. If you are printing PLA, 60 is a good temperature to preheat. So we will place the paper on it. Then we go to back. You see the home button over here? Because we just turn on the machine. So when you go home, you have to home off. You cannot just home the Z. It will never work. So we home all. You can see the machine is moving. So it's testing the leveling of the height. You will test two times. So, once it has finished, you will stay in a certain height. Then we go to the back. You see the move button over here? We can make sure this is in 10. So you can press this. 0 0.1, 1 and 10. So we go to down. You can see the C becomes 0. So once it becomes 0, you can test your paper. If you find that it's still not really down, you can temporarily off the button first. Beside here, there is a Z rod coupling. You can adjust it down. So when you adjust it down to the height that you want, then you feel the paper. When a bit paper has a bit of touchy grabbing feel, and you are able to move it as you want, then you can start to do your levering. So, the thing about levering is that you have to diagonal. You don't continue worse in a circle. Why? In a mechanical view, if you want a pig to lever it properly and faster, diagonal is the most easier. So, we diagonal. So, A, B, C, D in this way. A, make sure that level well. If you didn't, you can adjust the nuts. So, clockwise, the bit higher closer to the nozzle. Anti-clockwise, the bit moves lower and then further away from the nozzle. This is how it was leveled. So we adjust on the four corner, make sure everything is well and nice. So you can adjust a bit here and there. So it goes to the last one. By the time you go to the last one and it's already properly done, then you are well and nice. You turn on the machine. So when you turn on the machine, then you can adjust the height a bit. So we can do what? Now we already adjust a bit and it's already properly adjusted. Every single touching view is all the same. We go to tools. Preheat, go to heat bed, heat the bed to the temperature that you normally use. Then we go to extrusions, then we go up. For PLA itself, I think it's good that you can preheat the extrusion to 230 or 240 because we don't know whether what's the filament previously used. Is there any substitute inside the throat that causing any clog or anything? So I think we just hit up to the higher temperature and make sure it melts properly. So when it's melting properly, it's heating up. So we go back first, wait a while at the extrusion. Over here, it also have the temperature show. So it's heating. There are two things you need to check. 
One is every time one press, how much your distance. So right now it's 5 mm. You change it to 10, easier for you to use. Then this one is the speed. So low, that means low. Medium is the normal printing. High is the force it down. Why people use a high? When they find that the filament is hot. So we can just use normal first to test it. Okay? So I, I move this one up a bit first to show you guys, okay? Now I move out already. At the extrusion, I use a down, in. That means in is down. Line. Need to wait for it finish the last uh, function so we set for it. So now and make sure that it go a circle, circle, circle. When it's going a circle type, that means don't have any clock. Then you can start to do the printing. But if find that it the filament like running backlash to the nozzle, that means something not right. Somewhere is clocked. When you find that somewhere is clock, go to high, put your hand at the extruder that side, the filament insert point, then when you press in, then you give it a light push, it will come out nice and well. This is how we can clock away, you know, unclog it, unclog the nozzle and etc. Then we throw one side, now we can go back. Go to printing and print the form that we want. Then in the event, if we are doing the printing, so I change your temperature first. So let it faster to print. So in the event when you doing the printing, when you start print, if you find the printing, the print, the filament is not sticking to the bed. What must you do? Here is the trick, okay? Give me a while. I wait for it home first. Clear away the filament there are there. You can use a scraper or anything. Okay, if the print itself is not sticking, over here, there is this thing called options, baby step, Z minus and Z plus. Z minus is to let the nozzle closer to the bed. Z plus is to let it further away from the bed. And how we test whether the leverage is it okay? You use your finger, try to move the print. If you find that it's not kicking well, then you use Z minus to let it closer. So it will stick well. If you find that it's too far and I mean is it too tight that you can't see the filament coming out and it have a tuck, 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 tuck sound, then you use a Z plus to lay it further away. You need to make sure that it has the color of the filament that you are using and it can stick well. This is the print, the first layer we need to achieve. Okay, and if you wanted, when you are doing printing, if you find that hey, the, the filament coming is not so good, you know, like it's not melting properly, you can go to options, temperature, and you go to extrusions, and then you plus the temperature to let the temperature higher. You don't need to re-slice the file, okay, because every filament has its own character. So sometimes it may not uh, at the normal temperature. You'll have plus minus 10 degrees differences. It's normal. Okay. So if you find that it's not uh, printing so cool good, then you up the temperature already. But you find that hey, it's still not so perfect. So you can do this. Pause the print first. Then you'll move to the front automatically to one corner. Then we go to options, temperature, higher one more, 10 degree, 
Then we go back. Then we go to this filament. Then we go to load. So when we're doing the load, confirm. And the filament coming out already, make sure purge as much as you can. Then after that, you press cancel the purge. Go to the back. Back. Resume. The print should be good. But when you complete this already, please make sure change your temperature back to your normal printing temperature. Okay? Because filament making, sometimes they may have a bit of particles inside this. I mean, accidentally, they may not know. So that's why we we'll need to do these unpacking things. You want to 100% sure that all filament 100% don't have? I would say that I can't promise you. But if have this thing happen, then we can do this tactic. It will work. Just higher a bit of the temperature. That's all. <laughs>